Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and for today's video, we're gonna be going over the new medals that came out in the JP version of the game. Spoiler alert, they're pretty much medals we already have, just different attributes. But without further ado, let's get started with the video. So first up, the JP version of the game got a new high score challenge event featuring the VVB medal. Which in case you don't know, this is what it looks like and this is what it does. It's a magic upright metal tier 8, costs 7 gauges, is single target, has a 6 star multiplier of a 15.58 to 27.13, does 3 hits, does more damage with 1 enemy or 0 parts left, and makes the next metal a magic type metal. Now, in a nutshell, this is literally just the magic version of the Timeless River Sora medal that we just got fairly recent. Multiplies are the exact same thing, it's, it's literally just the magic version of it. After that, the JP version of the game also get a brand new Prime Metal banner that also comes with a Supernova Metal as well. Basically exactly the same as it has been for the last two Supernova Medals, where we would have a Prime Metal be the Mercy Pull and the Supernova Metal be the Non-Mercy Pull. Now just like always, if the global version of the game gets this, which it most likely will, uh, the same type of banner and deal and everything, um, I highly recommend not chasing for the Supernova Metal at all whatsoever and just pull once for the Prime Metal and you can basically move on. Now one thing to state about the JP version of the banner though is that the JP version of the banner is a falling price deal and appears that they are doing some sort of like Black Friday, Cyber Monday type specials going on in the JP version of the game. Now whether or not the global version will actually get the same type of treatment, I have no idea. They even get their first draw on the banner for free. It would be really nice if global gets the same type of treatment, uh, but at the same time, just prior, just from past experience, I'm not going to have my hopes too high, although I can see it definitely being possible that we might still get it too. Uh, but just based off prior, prior experience from the previous couple years, uh, Black Fridays and stuff, they, they haven't been that great. Last year, we didn't get anything at all whatsoever. They didn't even mention Black Friday or Cyber Monday. So I'm not expecting anything, but at the same time, it would be nice if we get this. But anyways, we have Prime Kingdom Hearts 2 Yuffie as the new Prime Metal. It's the Speed Upright Metal. We've we've desperately been needing a Tier 5 Speed Upright Metal for the longest time uh, for Prime. Uh, but it's Tier 5, costs 5 gauges, is AoE, has a 7 star multiplier of a 22.4 to 25.97, does 4 hits. And for one turn, it provides 120% guilt buff, which is currently the highest guilt buff in the game. Um, especially amongst all the other prime metals recovers three sp gauges uh does more damage the higher the slot number and makes the next metal become a speed type at seven star it provides the plus three upright strength buff but overall whether it's six star or seven star it provides a plus seven speed strength buff a minus seven speed defense debuff a minus seven general defense debuff a minus four reverse defense debuff which is interesting uh because i didn't exactly expect something like that to be on a prime metal such on a tier five prime metal i should say uh and also provides a minus four upright defense debuff now i definitely have to say that the fact that this metal provides both a reverse and upright debuff is completely unexpected i was not expecting like this uh, it kind of looks like maybe they're going for a trend of just having super watered down versions of the stained glass metals uh, which in case if you've been watching the channel for a while i highly recommend it to get when they first came out um, hopefully they can come out again sometime fairly soon uh, i know that in the jp version of the game they just recently reprinted the uh, foreteller medals as well so it's a good chance we might get those too i don't know if it'll be tomorrow or anything but fairly soon is very possible but between the stained glass or the foretellers i highly recommend the stained glass instead but at the very least, we've been desperately needing a speed upright prime metal just because of the fact that the only actual like speed upright prime metal that we've had for the longest time for now was the prime woody that we got during the Toy Story event co collaboration. And that's not nearly as good compared to like a prime Riku versus Roxas, for example, where it provides a plus seven and minus seven buff and debuff for its respective attribute, which we've been, which we've been desperately needing for a speed upright. And Prime Kingdom Hearts 2 Yuffie finally fits that slot. 
aside from the fact that it provides both a reverse and upright debuff and also for the first time for one of the main tier 5 prime medals doesn't actually fully debuff the upright defense either the one thing i want to make note real quick is that it provides the 120 percent guilt buff just because of the fact that that is actually going to majorly change and help influence a lot of keyblade setups especially for pvp and such um, towards helping speed become one of the better attributes um, especially on specific keyblades such as the starlight where it has the second slot be a speed upright followed by a power reverse uh, this is going to help out a lot for those type of situations but other than that, next up is the Supernova Riku Replica Medal. In a nutshell, it's literally just the speed reverse version of the Supernova Key Art 19 and the Sephiroth Medal that we just received not so long ago. And it's just a speed version to kind of complete the trio. But just to reiterate, it is a speed reverse metal. Tier 8 costs 6 gauges, is AoE, has a 7 star multiplier of a 31.48 to a 47.39, does 4 hits. And for one turn, it provides 100% guilt buff, recovers 3 gauges, does more damage with 1 enemy or 0 parts left, does not affect counters. Uh, at 7 star, it provides a plus 3 reverse strength buff, a plus 7 speed strength buff, a minus 7 speed defense debuff, a minus 7 general defense debuff, and a minus 7 reverse defense debuff. Nothing too much to be said about this metal. It's literally just the same exact thing as the Key Art 19 and Sephiroth metal. Just like I said before, in terms of the banner, assuming we, we get the same type of banner as JP, even if it's not falling price, just assuming the fact that the Mercy Pool is only for the Prime metal, the Yuffie metal, and that the Riku replica is not merciable. Don't chase for Riku at all whatsoever. Just get your copy of Yuffie and move on. Well, now that's it for today, guys. So go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. If you enjoy the type of content that I bring you guys, please feel free to become a sponsor for the channel, either through here on YouTube Gaming or on Patreon. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.